In this video, we're going to cover the miscellaneous tab and all its contents. We have two switches and that's the toggle all and the anti-aliasing switch. The toggle all switch will hide everything from your interface and then bring whatever was visible back. So for example, if I hide these guys here and I use my toggle all function, everything goes away and when I bring it back only what was visible comes back so if I for example hide my menus and I use my toggle all function and back again you can see how this works so I am pressing my tab key because I assigned my tab key to this switch and you can do this by going into your preferences uh, navigating down to interface and then to misc here you have float menu and this is usually assigned to your tab key so what i've done is i pressed ctrl and alt and click this and then i use to control my shelves my float menu so as you can see that's my float menu i assign control and tab to this and i assign tab to toggle all so now i can use tab to just toggle all so that's what uh, toggle all does and that's how you can set it up now let's look at anti-aliasing now anti-aliasing works with these functions here if you use anti-aliased half size it will make your canvas half the size and it will give you a less pixelated image now with the anti-aliasing function in the mad pony tool bag it will do just that but it will make further adjustments so that you don't have to redraw your sub tool, go back into edit mode and have to clear the canvas, do all those operations. This does everything for you. So if I press anti-aliasing, you see that the, the canvas changed a little bit because this uses the positioning here and it goes to a front view if no view is selected. So now I'm using twice as much resolution. If I turn it off, you can clearly see, especially on the shadows, the quality improving. And that's anti-aliasing. So when your image is getting too pixelated, you can use this anti-aliasing function. Now, anti-aliasing does not adjust uh, your zoom. So for example, if you have a custom view selected from your views, custom views, if you have a saved custom view, and you use anti-aliasing, uh, most likely what's gonna happen is that, for example, if my custom view was something like this, now when I press anti-aliasing, it's gonna go and be something like that because uh, we would be working with twice the resolution and the canvas would be twice the size. So you will have less zoom, but you can all, always go into your nudge and snap view nudge and adjust your zoom right here.